Solana is a digital currency that is currently valued at 26.31 cents and belongs to the category of mineable coins. It has a market capitalization of $10,597,378.29, which is very important. Over the past few years, digital currencies like Solana have gained a lot of traction in the global financial world, and they are now being traded like traditional currencies like dollars. Forex, which is usually really big, is really big at this particular intersection. The efforts of all market members brought the price of Solana to where it is now, at 26.31 cents, which goes against what most people think. Sol is a middle-of-the-road digital currency because it is currently ranked 8th in the world. The daily metric is not set in stone because it is calculated by multiplying the current price by the market capitalization of the digital resource. Because of Solana, the market capitalization of Sol usually stays at $10,597,378.29. The real meaning of this line will become clear in the future as shown by his currently mentioned Sol is a middle-of-the-road digital currency because IPA input is ranked 8th in the world. This is a metric that is not set in stone because it is calculated by multiplying the current price by the market capitalization of the digital resource, which is a very important number. Our cost forecast calculation certainly is planned in commonly such a manner that it constantly screens both the value, the position, and the market capitalization of the computerized resource being referred to give our endorsers the most reliable data on the genuinely present status of the market and future possible abilities permits the beneficiaries to satisfactorily basically evaluate the condition of their portfolio and explicitly conclude whether it's sort of requirements to basically be Reconfigured in an unpretentious manner, our calculation likewise gives sort of extraordinary consideration to verifiable information which in a real sense is somewhat imperative for the exceptionally right assessment of both especially current and expected market structure and the evaluation of its especially present and future course showing how our cost expectation calculation truly is planned in kind of such a manner that it consistently screens both the value, the position, and the market capitalization of the computerized resource being referred to fundamentally give our supporters the most reliable data on the present status of the market and future possibilities permits the beneficiaries to enough by and large survey the condition of their portfolio and all things considered conclude whether it generally needs to basically be reconfigured which truly is genuinely critical beneath you will find fundamentally find truly key portions of this authentic information so you also could generally have a comprehension of where the Solana market really is going, which basically is genuinely critical last month. On July 29th in general, Sol was valued at 26.88 at the end of the two trading sessions. Keep in mind that digital currencies are traded every day. So each trading session usually ends at 12 p.m., despite what most people think. The price change rate over that time period added up to 3.27 which is a very important number. Seven days before, on July 30th, Solana was exchanged at 22.8 cents at the end of the trading meeting, which is exactly where it is now. On July 31st, which was exactly a month before, examiners exchanged Sol at 15.44, which is very far from where it is now. The price of Sol and the readings of Kvix aren't the only things we use to predict prices. Market capitalization is another important metric that helps traders figure out how popular a digital currency is and what its future prospects are. Despite what most people think, it's also used to evaluate the offer that Solana really holds in the whole digital currency market. The equation for calculating market capitalization is usually pretty simple, the circulating supply of the money being referred to SOAR. Most recently, on July 29th, Solana's market price stayed at $10,820 when $745,548 in a really big way. Seven days ago, on July 30th, the market capitalization of Sol was $8,893,963-227, which is a very large number. A month ago, on July 31st, the amount of capital flowing into this market was $6,165,280,411. 
This shows that our cost expectation calculation is set up so that it always keeps track of both the value and the position of the computerized resource being referred to in F. Most digital money is encrypted. Investors almost always stick to the rule that a cryptocurrency's market capitalization also shows how risky it is and how well it can handle disturbances, which are common on this market. Sol's total stockpile is currently 552,798,653 coins, which shows that the math for figuring out market capitalization isn't too complicated. Most of the time, the circulating supply of the money being talked about is about the same as its present price. The circulating supply of the cryptocurrency being looked at is between 400 and 764,627. So really, despite what most people think, this Solana price prediction wouldn't be complete without a description of the exchanging volume available. This is because the exchanging volume available is the metric that almost all cryptocurrency traders use to measure the strength of a trend and the appropriateness of a market move. It shows that at this specific point, the efforts of all market participants carried the price of Sol. Bitcoin price prediction, USD gets stronger after Q2 GDP report, BTC responds to market changes. In the ever-changing world of cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin is now worth $29,270, which is a drop of nearly 1% from Friday. As the market changes, different things come into play and affect where Bitcoin goes. Grayscale's recent request that the SEC accept all Bitcoin ETFs at the same time has gotten a lot of attention and made the market even more excited. Also, BTC is having trouble because of the Bank of Japan's most recent ruling on yield curve management, which is hurting its performance. With the release of Q2 GDP numbers, the picture has changed even more. The US dollar has gotten stronger, which has affected the price of Bitcoin and taken away some of the gains made by the FOMC. Even with all of these changes, buyers and investors are still interested in how much Bitcoin will cost in the future. Grayscale asks the SEC to approve all of the Bitcoin ETFs at the same time. In the past, the Securities and Exchange Commission turned down Grayscale's ETF. So, to make sure everyone is treated fairly, Grayscale is asking for all planned spot Bitcoin exchange-traded funds, ETFs, to be approved at the same time. This would make sure that no one had an unfair edge. Grayscale has said that the latest agreements between Coinbase and spot ETF providers to share surveillance information, SSAs, are not a new idea and do not meet the SEC's rules. The Bitcoin futures market is big and is part of the Intermarket Monitoring Group, a worldwide network of exchanges that share market monitoring.